No! Why? Why, Kame? Why? <laughs> no! No, it's truth be honest. I, I read the rules, so I knew what was coming into it. But seeing that dumb fucking Gundam monster again, I was like, it's, No! <laughs> it's, it's like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, okay. Fucking Gundam's in this fucking thing as well. So, yeah. That's pretty much the original design what they had for the like, Akami Guy Kill. So, let's get into Chapter Sentry. So it's incredibly weird that like what we got to see in this chapter for a good chunk of it was Akami and like Leone against a plague doctor from like or Eileen the Crow from Bloodborne. It was like, what the fuck? Like, why is this guy they're fighting? It's like we find out a little bit like this guy having a Tegu, which is just pretty much this booby trap Tegu with like, buttons. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna plan. Like, and I'm gonna like Leone got like completely fucking blasted up, and it was like. Oh, please don't tell me that's kind of like the situation that she was in, like, she just accumulated too much damage in the shots, like, from, like, what we saw from, the, like, the anime, like, instead it was, like, a couple of shots, and maybe, like, with those ones, since we knew that they was just laced with poison, so, maybe, like, I, I don't know, like that, but it's, like, it felt kind of weird coming into this, because it was, like, it seems like the guy knew he didn't have much of a chance, and he was just pretty much relying on this entire thing, and it was, like, yeah, it's like even though Akami is pretty it's like skilled with the katana, it was like you're kind of not matched to this guy. And one of the things, interesting things as well, is that we did get to see like like so someone like her, and like as well. We did get to see our old assassin team. Now I'm guessing that's from Akami Ga Zero. Which at this point, now that the volumes are coming out over here, honestly, I think I'm just gonna wait until all the volumes are out over here, and then I'm just gonna read all of Akami Ga Zero just from there. I imagine like by the time like the actual manga ends, I imagine there'll probably be about like three, maybe four volumes of like. The coming out zero out over here, so I am looking forward to picking that up. I wouldn't be surprised though if they end at the same time. And they pretty much got rid of like all the stuff that they need to do. They attacked and assassinated everyone that they need to. But the thing is like when we go back to Tatsumi, who's just like completely going at it with S Death, and he's like, I need more power, I need more speed, and like S Death is loving this. It's like you know every time we're crossing swords, like every time we do something. You know, you're getting stronger, and fucking S Death decides to take it to the next level by dropping ice meteors now. Literal, like, just dropping ice meteors, pillars, just dropping everything. It's like, come on now, that's not all you got. On your feet, entertain me more. And that was, like, the really awesome part of, like, the chat. I was like, holy shit, I'm loving this stuff right now. Fucking S Death and Tatsumi going at it, and then the, the fucking gong sounds. It's like, oh. The capital's in erect, and that's the sign for the retreat. We gotta get out of there, and everyone's like, "Yeah, we fucking won, yeah!" And it's like, and this is the thing with Tatsumi when we see him come back out of the actual like Curcio form and all that, and saying, "Yeah, it's like, like, well, you better keep it up." And this, we start seeing he's like, he's literally just transforming and all that, and it's like. He's now at this point, he's like, with the dragon fusing with him, he's like, to be told and all that, I feel a lot better with it on. So, like, he's starting to lose his mind. The dragon is, like, holding on to him, trying to make sure, like, you know, that the fusion goes on right. He's like, my body is, even though I know my body's going to end up tattered and all that, he's like, I'm going to see this through the end. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the transformation now, like, with the eyes and the scales, like, now it looks kind of more badass, where you get to see with the, like, the big dragon horns, and the back of his back, like, all armoured up, I kind of like that, actually, even though he's like, yeah, that's the situation we're in, and even still, like, you know, like, I'm glad that Nijenda noticed it, it was like, wait, why did she retreat and all that, so, like, you know, she was like, clearly she wasn't in any bad position, but it's like, and then it comes to the... The fucking Gundam fucking Supreme Tegu comes out. Blast. Okay. There was one really cool panel where it blasted everyone. You saw all these skulls and all that. It was ripping its skin off and the eyeballs falling out. And it was like, this piece of shit trump card. What, what I believe it was like called Gokyo Kishin like that. It was like a Shinko Ten, uh, Tenzeri or something. It was like... I was like, and we find out that like, the prince, he's inside of the Supreme Tegu. It looks pretty much like Gundam and a Gurren Lagann. But the thing is, it, this is exactly what happened in the anime. 
and I didn't like this thing in the anime at all, so we could already tell where that is already going. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen the anime at all for a comedy and all that, I'm not gonna say exactly too much that's happened about this, but I this was honestly out of all of the stuff, even though as much as I loved like kind of like that final episode and stuff, like uh, what went down in that. And I think this is like the second to last episode that this was in. I think it was either the second to last episode and the one before that. And it was just, it was such a shitty end to that. And it kind of blares, all right, we know who's going to be taking that down and what's going to be happening with that. So I'm going to get it was like the rest of the chapter felt kind of fillerish. It was like, why do we have to go against this bloodborne Eileen the Crow motherfucker like there? And then kind of bring back to the Gundam and like, ah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's because it feels so out of fucking place with everything else. Although you can see, like, oh shit, this is Supreme Tegu, and it's like, yeah, this is why I had to work. You have to have the whole body inside of it, and it's a job. Like, as a threat, it's threatening. It's just that I don't like it because I would have liked it if it was a danger beast, or I would have liked it if it was something else. It's just a giant fucking. Like, if, if you're gonna do a good mech. Look at Saha Lamprothus. Like, look at that at Metal Gear. Or, like, look at any of the Gundam. It's like, it just looks kind of shitty to me. And, I, and it has a and it has a cape as well. I'm like, ah. Uh. So, honestly, you know, guys kind of knew, like, especially how I was going to be feeling about this. Because, like I said, I, I don't like it. And it's kind of blatantly obvious already that the weak spot is the core. Like, immediately where the blast is coming from. So, ta like, from what we're seeing, like, maybe, like, Tatsumi going into his Curcio is the one that's going to finish it off. Like, that's what's going to be it. So, we'll have to wait and see and all that. But, oh, ah, oh, that's shitty feeling. Uh, so, I'm, I'm st I am still looking forward to it. But, like I said, like, um, especially, like, a bunch of months ago and all that. I'm, I'm at this point now where I'm more comfortable saying, yeah, you know, Akami, you know. Like, if, you, if, if, I, if I got told four more chapters, five more chapters, I'd be like, and how it's going, it's like, yeah, we probably got, like, five four, six, like, six, I feel like, could go and push it, even more, and all that, depends where they're going to do it, they could do ten more, but it's like, I'm pretty sure that they were saying that it was going to end by this year, like, Akami was going to end by this year, so, considering that now, we got, you know, June, August, like, September, November, December, you know, we still, we could, I could imagine this series probably ending around about maybe September, October, November, like, maybe that time, I think it'll end before Christmas, though. Overall, with, like, the bit of, like, just kind of, like, keeping Akame and, like, Leonia away, which is, like, against an opponent that kind of really wasn't interesting, bringing back a thing that was kind of shitty from, like, the first thing, albeit it ca could have different things, but from what I'm seeing so far, it's like, yep, that's the same fucking giant Gundam thing. I kind of didn't actually like this chapter, to me, like, for the most part. It kind of felt like a very kind of like, yeah, let's show the gun giant Gundam design and then let's just keep a calm. Like, the best part, honestly, was the small part that we got with Tatsumi and Esther. That stuff was fucking cool. But the rest of the chapter was kind of very underwhelming, I feel like. It's a kind of the shame that we didn't get that much of the difference comparing to, like, what the anime gave us into this. So, I I'm going to actually give this one a four. I, I think it was very underwhelming for the most part. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you excited for seeing what's more happening? If you do love this thing, then, you know, that's your opinion. I, you know, you're entitled to like it and all that. Like me, I like from someone that's kind of like really been getting into mechs recently, I think it looks fucking terrible, to be fair. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's all from me. So thank you much for watching as always. And I'll catch you beautiful bastards next time.